G'day, welcome back. Faintly Saintly here, and this is Big Ambitions. And if you've been following along, I've just done a little bit of uh, housekeeping work just in between this and the previous episode. As you can see, I've uh, completed a few objectives. Uncle Fred wanted me to purchase a desk, a computer, and a chair because at this point in the game, the happiness meter has been unlocked, which means that's another resource that needs to be managed. And having a computer lets me play video games, which for a set period of time will boost my happiness. So that's another essential uh, metric that we need to maintain as we go forward. One other thing I've done is contacted the recruitment agency, as you can see here, and I've arranged to have three new candidates put up to me for my two businesses here. I'm going to have a cleaner part-time at each of these and a full-time worker at the burger restaurant. So those things will mostly maintain themselves. And as you can see here, my next objective is to set up a delivery contract for the gift shop. So that means it's gonna be even more hands off. They'll deliver the stock and my staff should run the store. So actually before I leave, I will I will have a quick game just to keep, keep the happiness juices flowing here. I'm gonna play for, what time is it? It's only six o'clock, I'll play for an hour. And we'll skip that time. And that just means my happiness will not dip too low. Now I do need to check because my employees haven't started yet. I don't want to... Uh, where are we? Any bergs? It is open today. I might keep it closed today. When does it usually open? 12. Um, I'll, I'll leave it for now and I'll see how we go. See if I can arrange a delivery plan for that as well while I'm at it, actually. I'm not a bad idea. So, NY Distro is the old sailor that I was visiting in the previous episode, where you could drive in, I believe, and stock up your car. Here we go. So, the only thing I'm not sure of. Oh, it's not open yet. Opens at eight, half an hour. The only thing I'm not sure of is whether it's a timed schedule thing or whether it's a stock level thing. And by that I mean, will they, do, will they drop it off, you know, once every week or once every day? Or can I say, when my stock level drops below X amount, make a delivery? We will find out in just a few seconds. I know there was a way to do that, but I don't know if it was this particular procedure to do that. But we'll find out. Okay, now, before I go in, I've got some messages from Anderson Recruitment. All candidates have been sent to your My Employees app. Are you sure? Because I've only got one. Anyway, he's cheap. He's working at Saintly Gifts. His cleaning skill is uh, abysmal, however. I'm not in a position to uh, really be picky. I'm going to uh, How important is this, do you think? I'll give him... Oh, I'll unassign him from the business. I'll give him one training day. It'll cost me 100 bucks. Why do I only get one? One candidate. I feel like that's broken. I feel like I I put three different orders in. Why am I getting out of my car? I put three different orders in and they've only given me one. But we'll see. Anyway, I'm... I need to talk to someone in here somewhere. There it is. I'll just leave my car in the middle of the uh, way here. Hello, please deliver my things. The Saintly Gift. $400 delivery fee. That's Bergs. $400. That can't be every time, surely. Okay. Alright. 
This isn't what I was expecting. So on Monday, deliver. Three four hundred dollars every time. Today's Tuesday. Ugh. No, we'll stick with Monday. Three boxes. I'm not sure I like this. How long is a box meant to last me? I don't know. I, I actually don't know. I'll add three. That's expensive. I don't know. We don't want that. So every Monday, I get three boxes of cheap gifts. I will get a. Where are we? Soda. Three boxes of soda and one. Pa -pa -pa. Where are we? Paper bag. Paper bag, anyone? There. Very silent in this menu. Okay. Three boxes of gifts, three boxes of soda, and one box of paper bags every Monday. Um, sure. Let's do that. Do I need to do anything, or is that just in now? Yep, that's in. Well, let's get back to your business again. Because you still have a lot to learn, kiddo. Things are going great. <laughs> oh, yeah. But there are a lot of potential customers out there who never heard about your stores. So it's time to start marketing. Good call, Freddy. But before I do that, give me a new contract for St. Lee Bergs. And... On Monday as well. Three boxes of burgers. Three boxes of soft drink. Paper bag. Ooh, not beer. Let's just give that a try. I, I'm not overly confident that's going to be ideal for me. If I go to this screen in Bizman Inventory, I sold 971 burgers. No, sorry, 328 burgers in seven days. The three boxes will cover that, but I'm just thinking, will I get eventually full? <laughs> Too many burgers? We'll see. We'll see. Sold dollars fifty for a burger. Jesus. Cost of living crisis is affecting everybody. Can't charge for paper bags either. Um, that's okay. Why have I sold more paper bags than burgers? Or maybe someone just bought a drink and wanted a bag for it. Makes sense. Uh, what about saying the gifts? Uh, 331 gifts in a week. Uh, oh, and where's my delivery contract? 300 times 39. Oh, let's. Hard to say. Let's just leave it there for now. Um, it is only Tuesday. And I'm quite short of money. And I'm very sure that the employment agency has stuffed up and not given me what I asked for, which is very frustrating. But I'll need to spend some more money. To replace the two employees they didn't offer me. Oh, no, I need some soft drink as well, I think. I'm going to need to go buy some more storage shells for each of my shops as well. So when all this stuff comes in, they've actually got a place to store it. One cheap gift. Let's grab one box for now, I guess. Burgers there. What I might need to do while I think of it actually. So you, 
definitely don't have any candidates waiting there. You useless buggers. So call them. Okay. Oh, they're still there. Part time cleaner, full time customer service. All right. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Oh dear. All right. So, ideally, the deliveries will stop me needing to make this trip. And the cleaners will stop me from needing to actually go in and mopping the floors myself. Whoa. Wait, that's my burger shop right there, isn't it? Is that legal? Yes, it is. Good enough. Oh, here we go. Ida Bryant, full time customer service agent for Bentley Bergs. That's pretty piss poor. You know what? I'll hire you. And you can get some training, please. $319. Oh, well, cost of doing business. I'll get my hand truck out. I will get that, that, and those. Everything full here, yes it is. Got those on the shelf. Pretty exciting burger shop, isn't it? Probably should get some um, tables and chairs at some point as well. But we'll just say we're doing that takeaway only. Get out of the way! I'm driving here. We'll just say it's takeaway only for now and we won't complain you can go jump. All right, and truck, that, that, that. Mm. People still whinging about there being no music. Uh. Items. Ah, oh, Sally Burgers is open. Whoopsie. Mm. I'm allowed to be late on the boss. Uh -huh. I'll just leg it. Whoa. I just want to run just so I can see this guy go for it and have a look at him. The posture of peak male. Look at the power in those legs. Uh, is this me? Yes. Ah, oh. oh, relax. Remember, candidates Lilia cleaning 49%. You're hired on the spot. Thank you. You don't need training, but you like part time. That means between 10 and 30 hours. So, is man, Vigil. That's it, Lilia. You're cleaning between 10 and 30, was it? doing 18. You need three hours cleaning? Let's do two. That's all right. Done. We'll get this one because you're not until the end of the days. So we'll start tomorrow with a fresh clean store. And then I should not have to clean this place again. Is that it? 100%. We'll quickly restock. Burger, paper, soda. It'll also be nice not having to worry about that as well. Alright, we're done. 
It's nearly nine o'clock in the evening. I am very unhappy. I am very tired and I am very hungry. You are too exhausted to move at full speed. Who's this evil genius? Electronic store. Interesting. Gadgets and gizmos. Two plus one free. Good deal. All right, I'm just going to quickly grab some food. And go to bed. Wake up at six. That's oh, yeah. eight and a half hours. Should be plenty. All right, I'm still making money. That's the important thing. I'll have a quick little game to get me through the day. So I should have both my extra staff back today. Which means that both stores should be fully staffed. Which will be fantastic. And then I can go and take care of this marketing, which is the nested next objective. But first, I need to buy some food. They'll quickly run this home. I got over this running. Powerful gate. The one arm carrying his ten prepared meals, not swinging at all. Put those in the fridge. And I better check on the shop here. That's not my shop. That's my shop. Filthy. What are you doing, mate? Yeah, just take care of this so people stop complaining. Is everything stocked? Yeah, it's okay. You're off the hook, pal. Where's my car? There it is. I actually drive to that marketing agency now. Oh dear. Pardon me, lads. Be careful. People in this city are just so clueless. Not aware of their surroundings at all. Seven dollars parking. I'm made of money, geez. Alright. Keynes e marketing. Run a marketing campaign for one of your businesses. Okay. I want a campaign for saintly gifts. And I want a small internet campaign, please. That's all. Beautiful. Hey, make sure you keep the popularity very high for all your businesses. Sometimes you might have to spend more money on marketing to get the same results as you got before, because the market changes every day. And by the way, I'm planning to visit my home, my vacation home in Costa del Sol. But when I get back, this is what home, I want eh? to see, that you've increased your daily income. It's time Whoa. to take your empire to the next level, but we need more money first. This is why you don't text and drive. Thanks, Uncle Fred. Nearly got me in an accident. Okay, so. Start selling expensive gifts. Should be easy. I can probably actually jump in here and add them to my order. Expensive gifts. $1,200 per box. Well, here's what it is. I'll get one box of those. That's fine. 
every week. Maybe I need to go find a music player as well because these people just will not stop complaining. Also going to need some more shelves. Uh, where is that? At the business furniture store, isn't it? This way. Shelving, I believe. And seeing as the Rivalries update has recently come out and that's the latest big thing, I might uh, just check on the old Rivals and see how they're going. They're all quivering in their boots at my sudden and aggressive expansion. They have round shells in here. Pretty sure I made this mistake last time. Storage shells are... Uh, if you know what, I'll wait. We'll leave it there. Bye. Bye bye. There's a new Rivals button here. Let's click that and let's have a look. Wang Guo is still number one. Still number 20, Mr. St. Lee down here. Only 18 years old, though. Next highest has nine businesses. I'm catching him. I'm catching him. Look at this. This is an upward trend. Look at that. Huge. Oh, oh, this one's in trouble. Florence, what are you doing? That's a ooh, concerning trend for you. Blue Fortress Burger. Evil genius. That's you. Hmm. Lots of real estate as well. <laughs> wow. Fair ways to go before I can start uh, comparing myself to these people. Where do I get the round shelves? Actually, I just want to check. I think there was another furniture store just up around this corner. This guy can pump his crazy legs. Get my little fast forward action here. Ah, St. Lee Bergs is open. You know what? Better just go to work. People start whinging. Get that out of the way. Aha. Uh -huh. So. My employees are ready. Oh, I don't have a... I don't have... A Saintly Berg's uniform. Wait, why are you cleaning Saintly Berg's? Shouldn't you be at the gifts? Doesn't matter. All right, you. The gifts. Uniform gifts. You. All right, we need a new preset, and this is Saintly Berg's. Gonna be black and red, the tra tra traditional black and red. Very good, very good. We want no, we just want all red. Look at that hideousness. Stylish light shoes. There we go. You need to wear a, a visor. Yellow visor. Yes. A big ugly yellow apron. That one. Nope, that one. There we go. Okay. You're a full time worker at St. Lee Bergs. And you're a cleaner at Lee Bergs. You need to wear the uniform, pal. So, schedule. This is St. Lee Bergs. We now have Ida. Forty-eight hours a week. And I think that falls within full time, doesn't it? Between thirty and fifty. Yep. Beautiful. So six days a week. We've got that staffed and cleaned. Saintly gifts. We have Stanley here. 
and it needs to come in here and clean for two hours a night every day. Beautiful. Done and done. Again, cleaning happens at the end of the day, so I will clean this shop for a fresh start tomorrow, and tomorrow I'll actually have staff. It'll mean something. Um, and you know what? I will let the staff sort out stock in those shelves. I think they're... Let's pay $300 to train one staff member. If they can't stock a shelf, then what am I paying for? Ugh. I don't have energy right in front of traffic. <laughs> Whoopsie. Discount market. Alright, get in here. Eat your food. Toddle off to bed. New message from Ida. Demand a peaceful work environment. Well, Ida, I will do my best. I don't know what that means. Owner has a happiness of 50% or more. Ida, I don't know how to tell you this. I need to find a way to uh, prove that happiness stat. Currently 60, that's fine. But uh, gonna need more than video games to make it through that. Let me check my stock levels. Plenty. Uh, more than a week's worth. Plenty. I think these deliveries are going to be way overkill. But I'll get the first one. And then see what happens. Now, I was going to go for a quick drive to find more shelving. And again, I think there was one. Whoa, careful everybody. Oh, jeez. I don't really want to pay for repairs again. So... Was it in this store? Yes, rounded shelf. What else can we get? Restaurant booth. That would be cool for the burger joint. Uh, Expensive though. Like well, two grand. Maybe a few chairs are less than half that. But I will worry about that later. I'm just going to grab a shelf. Uh, I'll just have a quick look. Exit signs. Pallet shelves. Storage shelves, change rooms. Obviously things for all different business types. Trash bin. Might be nice. In time. I'm quickly go grab some Oh, uh, expensive gifts. We can tick that off the list. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. That took about 30% of my condition off. Here. Is 
one box enough? Grab two, just to be safe. Alright, I will deliver these back to the store. Oh my god. I can actually drive in real life. I know this seems unlikely from what you're seeing in front of you right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let me in the parking. Let me in the parking, you dog. to repair. <laughs> There's me right. May as well get petrol while I'm at it. So yeah, as I was saying before I totaled my car, I can actually drive. Where am I? Don't have a great sense of direction here. I think this is the Ah, that's my burger joint, okay. I'm gonna deliver these. Oh, break, break, break. Nothing wrong with parking backwards, is there, surely? I'm gonna deliver these new expensive gifts to the saintly gift store. Ah, oh, still didn't get that music player. That's okay. Uh, we're gonna rotate that one and put it in there. Got some expensive gifts on the shelf. And the store's dirty. The other stuff needs restocking. I've got stuff to deal with that now. I don't need to worry about that. Because I am a businessman. All that's left is to generate a profit of $2,500 in one day. And if you take out the expenses for um, car damage, you know, today could have been that day. Got some exciting new expensive gifts on the, on the uh, floor at the moment. I'm sure people will be lapping those up. Going to not Ikea. What is it? Ica. Go to Ica. Oh, careful. And I'm going to look for this bloody music box they keep winching about. Surely there's something in here. It should be easier if there was a catalogue or something. I'll grab a trolley because I think I'll need two. I just don't know what I'm looking for. Whoa. I thought that would help. It does not. Loudspeaker? I'll try. Two loudspeakers. Can I get a table for my restaurant here? Would that work? Just to table. Is 
the treadmill worth 3800 I'm also expecting that fitness equipment will be imperative for my happiness bar to stay up so I'm going to just invest in some of that now as well dollars later money's getting a little bit tight I need to stop these uh, impulse buys and car run off for a while just to try and save up a little bit we'll leave this over two disabled car parks And then flee. And let's squeeze in here again. Yep, that's legal. I want the speaker, I want the table and the chairs. I know they're complaining about the bloody floors. Always, it's always something with you people. I just need a reason. I just need to know what's on your mind. Tell me what you need. Alright, so how do I decorate again? That actually makes me nervous. I'm going to cancel that. Hmm. Okay, you can't control that particular source of audio. Ah. Okay. I was worried that that's not, um, well, that might raise any a red flag with YouTube or something like that. I don't know. All right, Bizman, Bergs, how do we, how do we, how do we fix this? Up there. Interior designer, there it is. I'm going to spend a little bit of money. Oh, that's beautiful. How much is this going to cost me? 1500 It cost me already more than I have. You know what, people? You're just going to have to deal with it, okay? I can't find a place to put my trash. I knew I should have got in my bin. Wait on. Wait on. Wait on. I can probably run across the road and grab one. I'll get there in three minutes. Yes. One bin, please. Convenient to run a business right across the road from a furniture store, apparently. You want somewhere to put your bloody rubbish? Here you go. Bam. Alright. Deliver this jukebox to the other business. Jbeal, renowned audio brand Jbeal. Let's place that. Oh wow, that's obnoxious. There we go. If no one has any complaints, they can go jump. Bring the kettlebell inside. Oh, I did buy an exercise ball. I forgot about that, but I couldn't figure out how to use it.
I get the feeling I just can't use that, actually. Money well spent. Here's my exercise ball. Seemingly no interactions, so whether it's something I need to unlock, or you can do it in a gym or something. I don't know. I'm just collecting a whole bunch of useless gear at the moment. Look at this home gym setup. You don't get a posture like this if you don't work out. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Not the most profitable day. Funnily enough, we're paying four wages now. A lot's going on. But there's always time for some a couple of hours of video games in the morning before you go to work. I like that. Oh yeah, I just need to actually how are these expensive gifts selling? Not well. Not well. The lowest market price is 19. I can go to 20. I'll go to 19, 10. How's that sound? 32, 10. Right? Because I'm the boss. I'm going to actually leave this session here for now. Thank you for watching and staying with me. Um, Apologise if my voice is a little bit more nasally than usual. I am getting over a bit of a cold, a bit of the man flu. Uh, so I do apologise for that. Hopefully it wasn't too unbearable for you. But we've finished another couple of productive days here in Big Ambitions. Again, if this is a series you'd like to follow, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. And if you want to get involved, if you have any, any suggestions for businesses, business names, or even if you want me to name some of my staff after you, just let me know in the comments and I will uh, work something out with you for sure. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.